right, gear geeks. Oh no, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I have this Solo Man Overdrive Bass by Dr. J. Let me give you a look at the box here. Dr. J, it's kind of a cool box, right? Here's how I do think so. Here's the, the, um, the label. So, I uh, was buying a lot of these $20 pedals and having a good luck with them. So I decided to buy this because I needed it in overdrive for my bass. And uh, this says overdrive and nowhere on it does it say fuzz. But man, this really isn't an overdrive. And if you look at it, it's got a drive on the right. It's got a level, a cool, really strong metal, a nice, real cool button. Um, warm, bright, and normal. Uh, okay, so a lot of little gizmos and gadgets there, right? You know, and I spent about an hour and a half fiddling with this thing. Uh, well, actually, I was playing the bass, so not the fiddle. And uh, I really don't, I can't get anything out of it. And I got frustrated. Uh, and I go, well, I'm not going to do a video on this. And then I decided this is what I'm going to use. This is a 15-inch Celestion uh, 412 Classic Ampeg cabinet and uh, the Tone Hammer 700 by Aguilar. So all this is like real good mid-range equipment. So in this demonstration, it's definitely not the equipment. It's not the cable. The guitar is this bass, this, um, you know, these uh, sound gear. By, I think it's Ibanez. So it's a really cool $1,000 um, Ibanez bass. And what I'm getting at is I really took out all the uh, middleman. So I knew that <sighs> it's not the equipment. Oh, and then I went out and searched um, some good... Um, levels for my Aguilar. These levels right here are stolen from uh, the bass player of Love Bites, which is a heavy metal band because I play heavy metal mostly. So I wanted a heavy metal um, tonality, especially if you're going to do overdrive, right? So heavy. And so those, I'm using those um, levels. I'm using decent. So I took everything out of the the equation, I always use my cell phone so this is not processed sound. That way you know exactly what you're getting Ugh, in tonality because you do it at home with your own freaking uh, cell phone when you record yourself, right? So it's not processed sound. So this is the bass just by itself. So let's... Here we go. Let the ride begin. Oh, you can't use a battery. It's only the uh, plug-in only. So that is with no drive. You heard it get instantly. Fuzzy, more than overdrive. So there's a level and a drive. I'm in the bright, but listen to this. Total mud. Now you can manipulate the mud, and I did. I'll do it a little later. Here's normal. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the best bass player, but go to the bright. Watch, listen, here's the bright. And let me just turn it off. Okay, that's why he, <laughs> I didn't, the, the gear geek here didn't like the sound of this Dr. J. Which I don't know, they're trying to make fun of like a joint, a marijuana joint could be considered a doc, a J. And if you're Dr. J, you're the guy going around handing joints out. I don't, or the basketball player, Dr. J from like 40 years ago. I don't know. So here we go. Back on, there's the level. I'm going to put the drive up too and show you how it's fuzz. 
which is okay fuzz on the bright. But the way I would do a fuzz would be more like a lead, right? So even on the bass, let's say... Uh, Fuzz. Let me crank up the fuzz, and it doesn't say anywhere on this thing that it's fuzz. Let's go to that nasty warm, it just goes away. So I think I was able to make the warm come back by doing something like this. I guess you could use it as an effect on stage. But here's how loud it should be. Watch. So it really doesn't sound that good. So again, I can use it as maybe only in the bright uh, as a level boost. So be playing along. up the signal. Oh wow, I just dropped my cell phone. Uh-oh. What whoa. whoa. <laughs> I got it sitting on this keyboard. It's just totally not good. Okay, put it back here. Sorry about that. Like seven minutes into this video, I am not doing it again. So you can use it for a level boost. I can add some uh, fuzz. Or even deeper fuzz, I guess, you know. picture right sorry about that just a total lack of energy doing this review because this thing sucks then it fell over and just to be just suckier right so i mean my bass tone is so there's my bass tone i mean i gotta get a good bass tone going on and just gets all screwed up with this thing If I wanted a distortion, maybe, or if I wanted um, heavy fuzz. Now, I could have did this comparison, and I almost started to. Let me get this here. I'll show you. Where I got a blues driver out and just showed you, well, I probably could get a better sound with the blues driver than this Dr. J cool-looking box thing. So 052. So this company has 52 other different effects. But I, you know, it doesn't say anywhere on here that it's a um, uh, fuzz. And really, to me, there's a lot of fuzz on this puppy. So I really don't like this thing. And I was not going to do a review on this whatsoever. So, um, because I spent so much time, you know, an hour and a half playing one day, doing a little, uh, looking around, trying to find how I can minimize me out of the picture. So I got the levels for FAMI for heavy metal. I, you know, I don't have nothing else in here, but this thing, and it's supposed to be just an overdrive and gosh, it sounds horrible. And I was buying these $20 effects and really got spoiled how they work because uh, they were working like everyone was a hit not a miss 
I guess I can use, so I wasn't going to do a video on this, but spending so much time just fiddling with this thing, even though it's a bass, it's not a fiddle, <laughs> I decided, hell with it, I'm going to do a video of uh, me not liking this thing, and uh, me leaving it up to uh, you, like always, I try not to be <sighs> making decisions for people, and a lot of times when it sounds good, I can go, wow, it sounds awesome, how can you go wrong? But I, I don't know how you can go right. <laughs> and it was a little bit of money. So, I mean, if this was 20 bucks, you know, listen to me just jabber on. It's like 11 minutes now. If this was like, I don't know, maybe 25 to 35 bucks, it still would have felt a little painful that I wasted that much money. And I don't might see myself ever taking this pedal out. I The sounds that it was able to get, I guess it would be cool live to have the ability to do something along that nature, maybe, possibly. I don't want to be negative, so I say all that over and over again. But I really don't see it coming in use. I don't see me saying, I have the little pedal that might make this, you know, whatever we're doing really work good. So, huh, that's what makes this different. And I know I, I want to move on <laughs> to other videos. I have some cool stuff that I want to get done. And these this foot pedal is like totally lag me behind. Because I don't sit there and do this full time. So when I get burbed out like an hour and a half doing this and doing some research, it might be a couple of days before I get back to this. So, you know, then it burns me out again. But when it's good stuff, I'm all happy and I want to do this. Because when I play music, I want to play. I don't want to get discontented. All right, Gear Geeks. So there we go. I have a hard time with this. <laughs> Solo Man by Dr. J. Overdrive for bass that doesn't have, like, the level is the drive and the drive is a fuzz. And warm and normal don't sound good at all, but right's okay. <laughs> all right, take care. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs>